Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to e-commerce know-how. Some time ago, Walmart seemed to struggle to pull up the online act together, whereas Amazon sees about half of the U.S. online shopping market. Now, as everything changes, the organization's multi-billion dollar investment campaign to pay off in the online sales that are rejuvenating the long slumbering colossus. So what are the competitive moves of Walmart against Amazon? This video will tell you all. Here we go. Walmart Plus. This is the purest move Walmart took against Amazon to launch Walmart Plus. The latest membership program that offers non-replicating benefits. On a closer look, the retail giant was working behind the scenes in 2018 to create a competitor to Amazon Prime. Though the Walmart Plus launch date has been delayed numerous times, the reports indicate that its debut is imminent. Recently, Doug McMillan, CEO of Walmart, confirmed the membership's planned existence and shared its details. The price for membership of Walmart Plus is not confirmed yet, but some suggest that members will pay fees of $98 for unlimited same-day delivery on groceries from $1,600 on its grocery delivery now. You can deploy various selling strategies and said controls to manage your more inventory with Jet.com. Despite the launch of Walmart Plus and free shipping, Walmart still lacks the thing that Amazon has, the sheer volume of inventory. It has about 50,000 vendors selling items online, while Amazon boasts over about 87 thousand that explains why walmart bought jet.com the discounted online retailer in a 3.3 billion dollar deal the acquisition brought the relationship with a slew of comfortable selling brands and they are on track to more than quadruple their online business since they acquired the jet the ceo of jet.com mark lore also shared that the e-commerce is a scale game and you desire to get levered by fixing the infrastructure as you get bigger the cost of all the goods gets highly leveraged the decision by walmart was a drastic move that brought it into the massive leagues of online shopping no minimum order size adding to its expenses. Unlike Amazon, the company hopes to build a pure marketplace holding The decision to allow outside sellers and team up to advance their Shopify and auto parts. Walmart didn't sell things from third-party vendors, but after the acquisition with Jet.com, numerous products sold have grown 10 times higher. Also, the number of sellers doubled in the last year, and they started attracting brands. They retooled their websites to be more intuitive and streamlined user-friendly. Another noteworthy strategy tip by Walmart is its partnership with Advanced Auto Parts last year. Walmart was not going to be the one lock SKU auto parts retailers on its own. They get that Advanced Auto and it's probably the largest third party relationship that any online retailer has with the mortar or brick retailer. Furthermore, in the efforts to reach a new customer, Walmart spearheaded the purchase of several specialty or apparel organizations like Moncloth, Eloquy, and Bonobos. They have been sold and a massive portion of Walmart store customers are lower to middle income. For the larger fee, Jet Black once allowed Walmart customers in New York to text orders to personal shoppers for home delivery. However, this service got shut down in February after Walmart saw about 600 active members. And if you think about dynamics, you might not know whether Walmart is necessarily the organization to be a housing brand. What are notable Walmart competitive advantages? Well, here are some of the advantages that Walmart will have. Being the world's largest mortar and brick retailer, Without any doubt, Walmart owns a massive advantage over Amazon. It's 11,500 global mortar and brick stores. If you're the third-party seller, you're crushing whatever sales on Amazon you are doing. For sellers considering where to reach customers, the physical stores are a massive bonus and more scalable. For instance, in addition to such revenue scalability, Walmart stores also allow the merchants to keep down their costs in the highly expensive area for online retail shopping. Owning the power of grocery. When it's about grocery, Walmart doesn't need to adapt to Amazon, and in grocery, it's the opposite. Undoubtedly, the largest retailer worldwide remains dominant in another sector that depends on mortar and brick stores. Smartly navigating the COVID pandemic situation. The pandemic boosted the significance of fast grocery delivery, and Walmart has an even faster and cost-effective option, the curbside pickup. Besides, Walmart also offers convenient delivery features that keep the shoppers out of stores, like having shoppers groceries and grocery delivered loaded into the car. Finally, beyond any doubts, Walmart has gone to great lengths in its effort to take the fight to Amazon Prime for e-commerce throne. However, Amazon has a key advantages within the race. There are some golden opportunities for Walmart to bring in the store and online arms of its business together to be at the top. That's all for the day. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to never miss any amazing videos from us.